Once upon a time, in the magical kingdom of Enchantia, lived a young and kind-hearted princess named Sophia. She was loved by all for her compassion and bravery. One sunny morning, Princess Sophia awoke with a grand idea, she decided to host a grand feast for everyone in the kingdom. But this feast was to be special, because she wanted to cook all the dishes herself, Sophia had always been fascinated by cooking. Her mother, Queen Miranda, was an excellent cook and had taught Sophia a few recipes. However, preparing an entire feast was a different challenge altogether. Sophia was determined to make this event memorable and started planning right away first, she visited the royal garden. The garden was a magical place, filled with vibrant vegetables, fragrant herbs, and juicy fruits. Sophia picked ripe tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers, and bell peppers. She carefully selected fresh basil, thyme, and rosemary. From the orchard, she collected apples, pears, and berries, their sweet scent filling the air next, Sophia went to the royal kitchen. The kitchen staff, seeing her determination, offered their help, but Sophia politely declined. Thank you, everyone, but I want to do this on my own. It's my gift to the people, she said with a smile. The staff, respecting her wish, decided to support her from a distance, making sure she had everything she needed. Sophia started by baking bread. She mixed flour, water, yeast, and a pinch of salt, kneading the dough with care. As the dough rose, she prepared the vegetables for a hearty soup. Chopping and slicing, she hummed a cheerful tune, feeling the joy of creating something special. For the main course, Sophia decided to make a vegetable stew. She sautéed onions and garlic in olive oil, their aroma filling the kitchen. Adding the chopped vegetables, she stirred in the fresh herbs and let the stew simmer. The colors and smells were delightful, and Sophia couldn't wait for everyone to taste it. While the stew cooked, Sophia turned her attention to dessert. She decided to make an appleberry pie. Rolling out the dough, she filled it with sliced apples, berries, sugar, and a hint of cinnamon. Covering it with another layer of dough, she carefully crimped the edges and placed it in the oven. As the pie baked, Sophia made a refreshing salad with the cucumbers and bell peppers she had picked earlier. She dressed it with a simple vinaigrette of olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. The salad was vibrant and fresh, a perfect complement to the hearty stew. Just as Sophia was setting the table, her friends arrived to help. Clover the rabbit, Robin the bird, and Mia the bluebird fluttered in, excited to see what Sophia had been up to. Sophia, this smells amazing, exclaimed Clover, his nose twitching at the delicious scents. Thank you, Clover. Would you and Robin help set the table while Mia helps me with the drinks? Sophia asked. Her friends eagerly agreed, and soon the grand dining hall was filled with laughter and chatter. As the guests began to arrive, the feast was ready. Sophia stood at the head of the table, feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness. Welcome, everyone. Today, I wanted to show my appreciation for all of you by preparing this feast myself. I hope you enjoy it. The guests cheered and applauded, touched by Sophia's gesture. As they started to eat, their faces lit up with delight. The bread was warm and soft, the soup was comforting, the stew was rich and flavorful, and the salad was crisp and refreshing. But the highlight was the appleberry pie. Its flaky crust and sweet, tangy filling were simply divine. Queen Miranda, tasting the food, hugged Sophia proudly. You've done a wonderful job, my dear. This is the best feast we've ever had. Sophia beamed with happiness. I'm so glad you all like it. Cooking this meal has taught me that with love and dedication, we can create something truly special. The feast continued late into the evening, with stories, laughter, 
and music filling the air. Sophia's cooking adventure had brought the kingdom together, creating memories that would last forever and so, Princess Sophia learned that the magic of cooking was not just in the food itself, but in the joy and togetherness it brought. From that day on, she made it a tradition to cook for her people, sharing love and happiness with every meal.